That's right. The NFL draft just happened. Did your team draft well? We're going to find out. The Bengals, finally number one. Finally yeah. number one. Mm-hmm. Joe Burrows, baby. From worst, Championship. To f- from worst to first. Championship. I'm pretty excited for him. And uh, you happen to like, who's that one team that you follow? I keep forgetting the uh, yellow, yeah. black, and so, yellow. So um, mm. if we're talking about the first round. Yes. Didn't, didn't the Steelers already trade away their pick for? You know what the something? Steelers got in the first round? Who they get in the first round? They got a Pro Bowl safety. What's his name? Minka Fitzpatrick. They got Minka Fitzpatrick. That was, they traded a first round pick to the Dolphins for Minka Fitzpatrick. During the season last year. I remember that. And then he was responsible, had a hand in eight takeaways. Which, as a Steelers fan... Yes, is he, what you're after. He, he started the... He created a presence in that free safety that, role. Mm-hmm. And that, along with the introduction of Devin Bush... The continual growth yeah. of Mr. Watt. Who? And finally starting finally? to play to what could be his potential, Bud Dupree, yes. turned into one of the better defenses in the league last year. Weren't bad. Couldn't We're score not bad. as much as I well, thought Well, that's what happens would. when your really, really tall quarterback gets hurt. Yes. Does and something to his elbow. Big Ben went down. Was that a Tommy John's or was that ever released as to what happened? They were just like elbow injury. When you when you would read. So, you know, yeah. obviously, I read yeah. the website. Of course. Steelers Don't website, worry. Um, and they, they always people would ask. Right. And there is no information on it mm-hmm. because this, the the commentators on the on the website were like, there's this thing called HIPAA. He's not required. Not required to release it. Correct. Release it. He, the league requires some sort of explanation of the injury, right. so it is considered an elbow injury. Elbow injury. But yes. we look forward to, I look forward to him being back this fall, mm-hmm. assuming that they get to play. <sighs> that it's really all a worries big, me. It's all a big assumption. Yes. But that wasn't your question. So your team had the first overall pick. First overall pick. They had two magic wins they last year. They picked the Heisman Trophy winner. national championship winner, Joe, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, which I was a little hesitant on myself because his junior year he was me. But his senior year he was, he was great. a phenom, phenom. He was I great. Mean, it was unbelievable to watch. So great. They've got a new coach. We'll see if they decide that they're going to start winning games or not. The they're organization not. has had a past of... The owner is uh, a little too micromanagey. That's the the way I really see it. Okay. Mike Brown has been kind of um there's been some questionable moves they made. Daughter, it's all been a family business with him, so he's tried to keep everything in the family. So. You have to have some perspective. Because building a championship team in any sport requires a lot of luck isn't the right word, but you have to have you have to have complementary talent that is all performing at its highest level in order to win. In order to win. Yeah. Right. So even yeah. if you have even if you brought in some good pieces, it's the it's the stuff you don't it's the non flashy the non clickbait stuff. Mm. The grinders that you have to have. You guys right? put in the day in, day out work to make things but happen. But you don't know what those things are and you don't know what you have. You don't know right? who those guys are. And there's until no they show up. OTAs right now. And there's nothing, which is weird. So it, it's it's kind of a crapshoot. So yes, they ha- yes, you would hope that they picked up a good quarterback. I do. I do. I think right? he'll be good. And they I have some good offensive pieces. Ha- but we don't really know. I would just say, right, that from observation, there are some holes. Just like there are some holes in, and we'll see what they do in t- rounds two through seven. Yeah, but which I can't will be really, happening here shortly. I can't really participate in your conversation because the the interesting thing is everyone around the office is talking about the Broncos pick. Yeah, I, I've noticed. Well, we live in Colorado. Talking about the Broncos pick. And the consensus from the analysis that I heard this morning was that a little bit of confusion as to why they would pick why Jerry they Judy. would pick Jerry Judy 
Yeah. Instead of CeeDee Lamb. Wide receiver. He was a junior. From Alabama. He's good. Don't get me wrong. Really good. He's good. And Henry Ruggs got picked by the Raiders. But there was just bigger talent on the board but what they were that. saying was that the the best receiver according to the analysts was actually yes but generally he I has some issues they all well they all do they're all yeah i mean you don't really know but he went to uh cd lamb went to dallas yeah dallas mm -hmm. I, I thought he might jerry jones is uh always famous him for drafting picking. from his yacht Talk about, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's such a Jerry you Jones see, thing, to right? Do. But you see Andy Reid sitting in his living room, or you see. Um, yeah, there's uh, a difference uh, between Andy Reid and Jerry Jones. Yeah, and it's just kind of funny that the projective idea or the how these guys want to project themselves to the public. Andy Reid doesn't care. He's just a down to earth sort of dude. And then Jerry Jones wants to make sure that you know that he has a hot tub shaped like AT and T Stadium. So I didn't watch it. Last night, I actually looked on my phone this morning. Yeah. Because frankly, it's I knew my team wasn't drafting because they so, had already right. picked up their first round pick, right? And mm -hmm. he's already a Pro Bowler, so I'll, it's a guaranteed Pro Bowler versus right. you know a crapshoot. Yep. Um. So I didn't really watch, and I generally don't watch it. But I'll tell you what, I really I enjoy watching the games, mm -hmm. but this year it just feels weird. I'm worried about the season. Feel, it, I mean, obviously, I know it's going to be different, mm -hmm. but because there there isn't the ability for them to show like activity right now, right? There, I don't have the same level of excitement because if, you think it'll harm the game and the way yeah. people consume it. Because uh, we could be staring at a season where there's nobody in the stands. Yeah, I think if there was nobody in the just stands, just on a TV, if there was nobody in the stands, they would come up with ways for you to cons to consume it that weren't just like the television broadcast like they they would come up with something else right because they can't give up they can't give up 60,000 people in a stadium worth of revenue eight times no I, the stadiums will lose too much money It'll be too expensive to run it the the franchises will lose too much money yeah right and you can call them billionaire owners all you want they're not they still have to make There's money to ownership keep things groups, open right? yeah they're, they're still splitting the profits with the players, right? And you, you, you it, those, it, that's a conversation for another time. Sure. Right? Money isn't infinite. It is not. Right? So they can't just run the broadcast and call it square because that's not actually going to work. So no. they're going to have to come up with something else in order to, to actually do it. But it will be, no matter what television audiences, bank on this. In the fall, when they're playing, there will be articles that come out about the revival of the NFL because TV ratings are up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end it on Anybody that. That's perfect. That Anybody really want to bet? I wouldn't that's like you can write this article right day. now and just put it put right. X, X right percent and just <laughs> fill it in. That will be that I guarantee you that article comes out this fall. TV ratings are up. The NFL's back. Right. And like uh, uh, profits are the profits only are place down we can by 50%. It. Right. But, you know, <laughs> revival. Exactly. Revival. I imagine there'll be some sort of like fan pass thing that the NFL does but it'll be really interesting to see how the how the whole stadium thing kind of plays out yeah i'm actually worried it's gonna because a lot of these states have a half of it half of the cost going to the local municipality mm -hmm. so what happens when that defaults i'm just yeah stadiums are a terrible investment for cities for any city thank you for jerry jones for getting a billion well, i'm just saying dollars. right you it, it's going to get used eight times yes a year maybe a couple concerts for, in the off season for for its full capacity probably less than a dozen times it actually gets full uh, here right they use it for all different kinds of things but it's it's more idle than it does full it, it absolutely far more, more idle, idle than it does full correct so it'll be yeah it'll be interesting in terms of you know your question we'll see we'll see right yeah. and i in general the draft is a we'll see because all Every you're doing year. is you're you're selecting on the prospect right. that this right. this will work out and i watch all these mock drafts like it's some sort of you know, it's like these whatever these guys say is is like the word of God sometimes. And listen, they're professionals. And every Again, year, how many times do we hear of? Well, that was the biggest draft bust ever in the first round. Right. But it's every not a year. single a single player's skill in a team sport is just a piece of it. Yeah. Right. 
So maybe it'll work out for you, and you'll have 15 years worth of a fantastic quarterback, right, where your team is Hope actually so. competing. Yeah. It's happened before. I mean, Boomer yeah. was a good quarterback. Carson Palmer. Palmer was a very good quarterback. Great. And those games between the Steelers and the Bengals in the early aughts yes. were great. They're fantastic to they watch. They were great games. Because they were actually competitive with mm-hmm. each other. Yeah. Ugh. Or, you know, you could turn yourself into the Jets. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, the Jets! I always love taking shots at them, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of My Wife Hates This. I'm Josh, and he's that guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't forget to like what we do. <laughs> Ring that bell. Subscribe to what we have. Also, check out our communitynow.com. It is the coolest website on the face of the planet. It has all the things that you want to know going on in your community. And it's all news that makes you feel good. So check it out, guys. I'm Josh. This is Mm -hmm. My Wife Hates Us. And we'll see you next time.